and I can remember as a kid coming down, this is before I could read, and picking up everybody's, whoever got the newspapers, and then you had the Sun paper, and you had the News Americans, the second paper, and I could tell the difference between the two by the way they smelled. <laughs> They, 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 every, I guess it's different ink, different sun and stuff. I would smell, well, this is uh, Mr. Smith, who was a barber who lived on the second floor. And uh, I would go distribute one. And then, see, these are all memories that are just coming back. I, there was a friend of Edwards that gave him, that gave him a violin, an old broken down violin, and a mandolin. And as a young kid, I would take the violin out and go to all houses up and down here where I knew everybody. I knocked on the door. Like Mr. Ryan lived right in here someplace. He was an old retired gentleman. And when they would come to the door, I would play the violin and tap dance and I would give a penny. And a penny was, that's good oh, money, yeah, yeah, good yeah. money. I mean, and I would bring it home. Then I move on to the next house. You know, always hustling, Michael. I started out hustling. So I tap dance and play the violin. If nobody wanted to see me, they didn't come to the door. If they wanted to come to the door and give me a penny for my performance, that's okay too. Then I would come home and I would give the money to Nanny. So, um, because I had no need for it. And uh, and this is before, this was before he even started school. But you would deliver everybody's paper and- I would uh, deliver their papers to Just their in the apartment In house. the apartment, yeah. No, yeah. I became, I became, I was a newspaper boy I've had so many jobs. I should write them down. I was a newspaper boy uh, on D-Day. I remember that because, and stop me if I told you this story, I can remember they put out an extra. An extra means you, you had you had the um, morning sun paper, this was home delivery, and then you had a bunch of different editions of the sun paper, but <clears throat> on D-Day, they put out an extra. And I can remember coming all along here, running along here then with the newspapers in my strap, yelling, extra, extra, read all about it. It's like it was at, right out of the movies. Uh, Yanks invade Europe, you know, and people would run out of their houses. And this is when, and I probably told, I, it's so memorable to me, on D-Day, every church in the area, and I think probably the whole city, the bells were ringing. And that's all you heard. And people were coming out of their house. I can picture it now. Everybody knew everybody in the neighborhood. They, they were hugging each other and crying. And uh, that night, all churches were open. The church bells began to read. Everybody went to church to pray for the, you know, the soldiers landing on D-Day. I mean, it was big, big, right. big. Because we had been getting the shit kicked out of us right along uh, until then. Um... Uh, Mr. Rogers lived right in the house there. He went on to become a lawyer. So it's just such great memories around here. Uh, let me show you the second house, and it's the left up here. And it was